We've all seen the images on the news, houses reduced to rubble, roofs ripped off, and streets turned into rivers. The sheer power of these storms is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. They leave behind a landscape that looks like a war zone, with debris scattered everywhere and lives turned upside down in a matter of hours. Hurricanes are a powerful force of nature. They can cause widespread destruction and leave a trail of devastation in their wake. The aftermath is often a scene of chaos, with communities struggling to pick up the pieces and rebuild their lives. The economic impact can be staggering, with billions of dollars in damages and years of recovery efforts. Understanding the forces at play during a hurricane is the first step to building homes that can withstand their wrath. Engineers and scientists study these storms meticulously, analyzing wind patterns, pressure changes, and the impact of storm surges. This knowledge is crucial in designing structures that can endure the extreme conditions brought by hurricanes. Hurricanes are essentially giant, swirling storms born over warm ocean waters. They gather strength as they travel, feeding off the heat and moisture. As they move across the ocean, they can grow in size and intensity, sometimes reaching hundreds of miles in diameter. The eye of the hurricane, a calm center, is surrounded by the eye wall, where the most severe weather occurs. These storms pack a powerful punch with high winds, torrential rainfall, and storm surges. The winds can uproot trees, tear apart buildings, and turn everyday objects into deadly projectiles. The heavy rain can lead to severe flooding, while storm surges can inundate coastal areas, causing even more destruction. The Saffir-Simpson hurricane wind scale categorizes hurricanes into five categories based on wind speed. This scale helps meteorologists and the public understand the potential impact of a storm and prepare accordingly. Each category represents a significant increase in the destructive power of the hurricane. Category 1 storms have winds of at least 74 miles per hour, which can cause some damage to buildings and trees. These storms are dangerous, but they are just the beginning of the hurricane scale, while Category 5 storms boast winds exceeding 157 miles per hour. These are the most catastrophic, capable of causing complete roof failure and wall collapse in many buildings. The devastation from a Category 5 hurricane can be total, with entire communities left in ruins. These powerful storms are a serious threat to coastal communities. Residents often have to evacuate, leaving their homes and belongings behind. The preparation for a hurricane can be frantic, with people boarding up windows, securing outdoor items, and stocking up on supplies. The aftermath can be equally challenging with long-term displacement and the daunting task of rebuilding. That's why it's crucial to build homes that can stand up to the destructive forces these storms unleash. Modern building codes and construction techniques focus on creating structures that can resist high winds and flooding. This includes using stronger materials, reinforcing walls and roofs, and designing buildings to be more aerodynamic. We need to make homes that are more than just houses. We need to make them fortresses. By investing in better construction practices and materials, we can create homes that not only survive hurricanes, but also protect the lives of those inside. This proactive approach can save lives, reduce economic losses, and help communities recover more quickly after a storm. Hurricanes unleash a triple threat of destruction, powerful winds, flying debris, and devastating floods. Each of these elements poses a unique challenge for homeowners in hurricane-prone areas. First, the wind. Imagine wind strong enough to uproot trees and tear roofs off buildings. That's what we're dealing with during a hurricane. These high winds can create uplift pressure, essentially trying to lift your roof right off your house. They can also turn everyday objects into dangerous projectiles. Second, the debris. High winds turn loose objects into missiles. Anything that isn't tied down, tree limbs, roofing shingles, outdoor furniture, becomes a potential weapon. This flying debris can smash windows, dent siding, and cause serious damage to the structure of a home. And finally, the water. Hurricanes bring heavy rainfall, leading to widespread flooding. Storm surges, which are rises in sea level caused by the hurricane's winds, can inundate coastal areas with even more water. This flooding can cause significant damage to a home's foundation, walls, and everything inside. When a hurricane hits, the roof of your house is the first line of defense. The roof is the most exposed part of your home, taking the brunt of the storm's fury. It faces the full force of the wind, rain, and flying debris, acting as a shield to protect everything and everyone inside. It's the shield that protects you and your family from the elements. Imagine being inside your home, hearing the howling winds and the pounding rain, 
Knowing that your roof is the barrier keeping you safe and dry, the sense of security it provides is invaluable. That's why it's so important to have a roof that's built to withstand hurricane force winds. Building a roof that can endure such extreme conditions requires careful planning and the use of specialized materials and techniques. It's not just about putting up any roof. It's about constructing a fortress that can stand up to nature's most violent storms. A weak roof is a major vulnerability during a hurricane. When the wind speeds pick up, a poorly constructed roof can be easily torn apart, leading to catastrophic damage to your home. Water can pour in, causing further destruction to the interior and potentially leading to mold and structural issues. We're talking about winds that can reach well over 100 miles per hour. These are not just breezes. These are powerful gusts that can uproot trees, flip cars, and tear apart buildings. The force exerted by such winds is immense, and your roof needs to be prepared to handle it. If your roof can't handle that kind of pressure, it could fail, leaving your home exposed to the elements. Once the roof is compromised, the rest of the house is at risk. Water can seep in, causing damage to walls, floors, and personal belongings. The structural integrity of the entire building can be jeopardized. That's where wind-resistant roofing systems come in. These systems are specifically designed to provide enhanced protection against high winds. They incorporate advanced materials and construction methods to create a roof that can withstand the most severe weather conditions. These roofs are designed to withstand higher wind speeds than traditional roofs. Traditional roofs may not be built to handle the extreme forces of a hurricane, but wind-resistant roofs are engineered to stay intact even in the most violent storms. They use stronger materials and more robust construction techniques to create a more durable barrier against the storm. This includes using high-quality shingles, reinforced underlayment, and other materials that are specifically chosen for their ability to resist wind damage. One key element of a wind-resistant roof is the use of hurricane straps or clips. These are not just ordinary fasteners. They are specially designed to provide extra strength and stability to the roof structure. These metal connectors are used to secure the roof to the walls of the house, preventing it from being lifted off by high winds. They act as a crucial link between the roof and the rest of the building, ensuring that the roof stays firmly in place even when the wind is howling outside. They're like giant staples that hold your roof in place. These straps and clips are strategically placed to provide maximum support, distributing the wind's force evenly across the roof and reducing the risk of failure. Another important factor is the shape of the roof. The design of the roof can significantly impact its ability to withstand high winds. Some shapes are more aerodynamic and can better deflect wind, reducing the pressure on the roof structure. Certain roof shapes, such as hip roofs, are more aerodynamic and less likely to be damaged by wind uplift. A hip roof, for example, slopes down on all sides, which helps to deflect wind rather than catch it like a sail. A hip roof slopes down on all sides, which helps to deflect wind rather than catch it like a sail. This design minimizes the surface area exposed to the wind, reducing the chances of the roof being lifted off during a storm. By choosing the right materials, construction techniques, and roof design, you can significantly enhance the wind resistance of your home, providing peace of mind and protection for you and your family. It's not enough to just have a strong roof. The walls and windows of your house also need to be able to withstand the impact of hurricane force winds and flying debris. These elements are crucial in ensuring the overall integrity of your home during such extreme weather conditions. Think of them as the armor plating for your home. Just as a knight's armor protects him from harm, reinforced walls and windows shield your home from the devastating effects of a hurricane. Standard windows are particularly vulnerable during a hurricane. They are not designed to withstand the intense pressure and high-speed debris that hurricanes bring. They can easily shatter when hit by flying debris, turning into dangerous projectiles themselves, allowing wind and rain to enter your home. This can lead to significant water damage, mold growth, and even structural issues over time. Once that happens, the pressure inside your house can build up, creating a dangerous situation where the roof or walls could be blown out putting even more stress on the structure. This added pressure can compromise the integrity of your home, making it unsafe for you and your family. Impact-resistant windows are a must-have in hurricane-prone areas. They are specifically designed to withstand the harsh conditions of a hurricane. These windows are made with two or more layers of glass bonded together with a layer of impact-resistant polyvinyl butyrol PVB. This construction not only makes them stronger, but also helps to absorb the energy from impacts. 
This construction makes them much more resistant to shattering, reducing the risk of injury from flying glass shards, even when hit by a projectile at high speed. This means that even in the worst conditions, your windows are less likely to break and allow wind and rain inside, just as important as the windows are the walls. The walls of your home need to be strong enough to withstand the lateral forces exerted by hurricane winds. Reinforced concrete and concrete block construction offer excellent strength and durability. These materials are less likely to fail under the extreme conditions of a hurricane. If you're building with wood framing, it's essential to take extra precautions. Consider using stronger species of wood, such as oak or hickory, which are more resistant to bending and breaking, and closer stud spacing for added strength. This means placing the studs closer together than the standard 16 inches apart, which can significantly increase the wall's ability to withstand high winds. Steel shutters are another important consideration for protecting your windows and doors. These shutters act as a physical barrier against flying debris. These shutters can be closed over your windows and doors when a hurricane is approaching, providing an extra layer of protection against flying debris. They are easy to deploy and can be a lifesaver in the event of a storm providing an extra layer of protection against flying debris. By investing in reinforced walls, impact-resistant windows, and steel shutters, you can significantly increase the resilience of your home against hurricanes, ensuring the safety and security of your loved ones.